Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to the Mali and Shelly Show. So uh, today we are going to jump into it. Um, we're going to have two of our uh, products that we absolutely love playing around with, and we've had a nice uh, brewing session here this morning. And um, it's a product that we get a lot of questions uh, f um, about, and also some extra uses that we know is going to really add value to you. And um, yeah, well, I think it's going to be uh, it. It is two products that. A lot of people don't actually really know that we have or what they can do, so let's bring you some value. Perfect, Mel. So I know there's many workshops I actually went to, and I noticed that uh, one thing they cannot do without is sealant. But uh, that is where confusion comes in, because there's so, so many different sealants that you can actually see, um, but not always sure which one to use. So that is why we're here to un uh, unveil this, uh, the secret of sealants and uh, also to make it easier for you to remove. So to seal or not to seal? Yes. <laughs> we had some other to do's and not but to do's. But we can't disclose it here. <laughs> so the two products that we are going to focus on today is going to be the one that we're going to start with is the Liquid Molly Silicone Sealant. So there are two different kinds of packaging that's available now currently in the market. And we are going to cover both of them so that it doesn't matter what, which one you might have, that you know how to open and work with both of them. So um, this is what the two sealants look like. Um, and we're going to just unpack them a little bit and show you where you can use them. So let's start with where would you use a sealant? Yes, perfect, Mel. So off the bat, um, if I just look at these sealants, these are quite different to what you actually find in the market. And uh, our sealants have been developed for many applications, um, such as your oil pan, uh, the oil and uh, transmission pans, the differentials. You can use it on headlights to seal the headlights so there's no water creeping in. There are so many applications, but uh, the nice thing is that the material compatibility of these products, um, because it is not only for metals and iron, but also for glass, wood, and plastic. Okay, so everywhere where I would want to assemble an engine, there's those parts that are uh, actually going to be metal to metal. You want to make sure that you create, um, on, like on a gasket, make sure that you Perfect create seal. a seal, yes. so that there's no uh, water coming in, no water going out, and you have that... Uh, exact, almost like a glue for these kind yes. of surfaces. So, okay, so let's start with, okay, so we, you would use it in all the different places that you've mentioned. It is compatible with all these different material. But one of the other things, I mean, I know when arriving at a workshop um, and sealant, there's a couple of headaches that is associated to it. So first of all, um, if you have a, a gasket sealant that you have um, uh, that you uh, that you have to put on, one of the big things with most gasket sealants out there is 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 that it has to be there must be absolutely no evidence of oiliness mm. on the surface that Otherwise you want to. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, so so and how many times have you been at a workshop where they said to you, you know what, it's a headache? They've <laughs> gone through all this work, they've put on the sealant, and then as soon as they want to put the other part on, it slips off because there was a little bit of oiliness on it. Yeah, so it actually uh, happens quite a lot. And uh, actually, a lot of times the guys also ask, listen, how long does it take to cure, for the sealant to cure? Um, because it's one of the amazing properties we have of the sealant. So it does not only separate the oil and grease from the surface, uh, but it actually pushes it away, like repels it, um, in order to, for, for it to cling to that surface, to be adherent. So yeah. Okay, so, so, so let's start there, yes. because I know um, what we've just been talking about, we want to show you how to use the liquid moly silicon sealant. So first of all, let's start with uh, a closed container like this. Um, so it comes with a little cl uh, um, closing unit at the top. Very important that you put it back when you're finished, because how this product has been designed is it starts to cure as soon as it gets in contact with oxygen. Mm -hmm. So if you leave it like this, it is going to create what we call um, a little bullet. A bullet. Um, so <laughs> a little piece <laughs> of a rubber bullet that's going to be, um, that's going to form in, 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 the, um, uh, in the unit. In the nozzle, yeah. And um, you're going to have to get this out, and we're going to show you just now how to do that if you've been in that situation. But it, as soon as it gets in contact with oxygen, it cures. And most sealants out there, you would recognize them in a container that's a little bit more like a toothpaste. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, this kind of situation, I don't know about you, have you used this before, this kind of application, um, and um, how does your hands look? <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, it's, uh, it's quite messy to use this. Um, uh, it's also quite difficult. Uh, I know a lot of manufacturers has a specific requirement based on the sealant thickness and that you have to apply to a, uh, to a, a certain component. And it's quite difficult to manage with this um, because this just squirts everywhere. Uh, so yeah, it's quite messy for your hands, trying to uh, clean it as well, but also being able to use this 
to have it nicely on the surface is quite difficult. Okay, so can you just take um, everybody through to how are we going to open? So this is our black silicon sealant. It's a 200 mil container, both of them. So whether you're going to buy the one with the plastic topper or you're going to have the one with a little bit of a, of a metal um, a trigger, they are aerosol cans. So the nice thing is now you don't have to use your finger. It's not a toothpaste kind of application. Um, and it's going to be easy for you to apply. It's nice and neat. It brings it out in a, in, a, in a nice way for you to be able to smear it onto the gasket or wherever you're going to use it. But if you can just take um, everybody through how to open it. Cool. So uh, you'll see, as Mel mentioned, this is aerosol packaging. This is the actual trigger that you, you engage with. You'll see that uh, on the front side here, I'm going to come closer to quickly show you. On the little front side here, you'll see there's a zero and a one, which means closed and engaged. So ideally, when, you wanna, when you're not using it, make sure it is closed, in a closed position. But as soon as you want to engage it, just open it, and you can actually hear a click. Okay, so... Uh, and just on that note, if you are finished, just make sure that you put it on to close, because that will also avoid and, and prevent oxygen from coming in, in, in contact with the sealant, so that it doesn't dry again. Yes. So the nice thing about this, uh, as we mentioned, is not only the aerosol, but also the no nozzle. So as we mentioned, it's quite easy. If we can quickly do it here for you, Mel. I can yeah, yeah, it's cool. already open. Yeah, yeah it's already okay. open. So, quickly just gonna. Okay, let's make sure it's open. I, ha yeah, <laughs> I have another <laughs> one that's open. I just want you to show everybody how to open on. it so that I can show them oh, uh, the no, effect no, with open. oil. Cool. Just make sure it goes. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit like this. So you can see the student actually comes with a nozzle, and this is just a little bit squirt to just make sure it works. <laughs> There's a drop <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> you can see the spot. So uh, you'll see the, the consistency of the sealant is quite different to competitors in the market. Um, the reason for this is we have designed this to um, withstand uh, vibrations and stresses um, to ensure that it stays ductile. So if there's any motion happening in the engine, it can still be able to seal. It doesn't become brittle and crack and leave any uh, leaky com coming through. So it's actually like a little bit of a cushion. Yes, um, yes. So that that movement can still take place. So, so to explain this little bullet came, coming out, you can actually stretch this and you can see the ductility of it until it breaks. Okay, so each product that we have developed has a certain uh, elongation stress and you can be able to see that on the data sheet as well. Okay, so now just to be able to show you the effect um, and the big problem. So in workshops, as I just mentioned, our silicon sealant, the very big difference um, of the sealant is number one is the aerosol can. So it's easy to apply. You don't get your hands dirty. But also it has been designed that if you still have an oiliness on the surface, that the silicon sealant will stick no matter what. So I want us to, to be able to just get an idea of how that works. I'll is, get my hands dirty, don't worry. Uh, Shalane, <laughs> can you we must make sure that we have a little bit of a, a cushion here for the, for the dirt? Um, so we have a little bit of oil there. You can see it running. And um, just imagine that this is now the oiliness on the gasket. So it's a little bit oily. And um, in normal cases, you would not apply a gasket sealer mm -hmm. on that oiliness because it will slip off. And we can actually show that that is possible. So can I ask you to just put one stripe of this unnamed duct tape, duct tape silicon <laughs> sealant? <laughs> So first of all, it's not the easiest thing to get it, it to out of the yeah, container. So I'm just going to go like this. Okay, so wonderful. Look how great that is. So this is your oily engine -ness. So if I want to put it anywhere, I mean, it's really a battle to get it loose. And, and it there it's going off the gasket. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the frustration that currently happens in, 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 in a workshop. So the nice advantage of Liquid Molly is I'm going to show you exactly the same. First of all, easy to apply, and it's going to stick there where you've uh, placed it. Now, if I can ask, and Shelly, I'm just going to take it a little bit closer. Okay, so here is the silicon sealant on the oiliness. So it is sticking. It's not, I mean, the oil is going somewhere, but that's about it. <laughs> but now, what I also want to show is if you turn this around, I don't know um, if you can see... Uh, but you'll see on the side of the silicon, it actually pushes the oil away. Can you see that? Okay, so that is such a nice advantage because now you don't have to make sure that every single spot of the, um, of the uh, engine or wherever you want to seal is properly clean. And, I'm, and, and, and this is normally my, my party trick because even, but it just <laughs> makes me quite dirty. But in any way, if you look at this, even if I do this, 
everywhere it touches, it also spreads, spreads mm. and it binds. So I'm um, uh, putting it on the oiliness, but still you don't have an issue um, of it sticking to the surface. So with a silicon sealant of uh, liquid moly, uh, you have a really easy to use aerosol can. Um, you, if you make sure that you uh, close the close it properly and put the t top on, that is going to make sure that you don't have an issue and you're going to be able to use every last drop of the sealant in the unit. So it's going to have that advantage. It, you're going to um, be able to put it on any gasket with oiliness in it. It's going to stick. Um, it um, is going to have that elasticity to be able to make sure that it creates that cushion. But also, if you do have a problem with this container that actually then um, gets, when you open it up, you didn't close it properly and it has this little bit of a rubber bullet in the top. Um, there are very easy ways to be able to then just take that out. So, so just there's a basic example of what Mel is uh, talking about. A lot of times you don't close it properly and then it eventually dries. So we're quickly really going to give you a brief tip on how to manage this and just to remove this. Um, so, if you so, so, so don't <laughs> throw it away. You just yes. have this bullet that's going to close the hole. <laughs> so all you need to do is actually take this bit out. If you can, take get the top and you can actually grab it. You can just pull it out. But sometimes you will have the effect, and I'll just bring that a little bit closer, where the rubber actually breaks off and it's just not possible for you to grab it. So these are the, this is our tips for all workshops out there. What I will then normally do is take a, just a screw and screw that into the, the silicon itself so that it goes in quite nice and deep and then just pull that little rubber bullet out so that the, I get to the fluid part and the sealant is ready to use. Another product you can use while doing this tip is the actual the screw grip because a lot of times it may be difficult, so. <laughs> <laughs> then you can take that out. <laughs> cool, so you'll see what we did is we just uh, took the little screw, put it inside the silicone that's actually dried out, and uh, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull it out. Use no. all your muscles. Okay, it's not a, uh, yeah, that's why, <laughs> there we go. Sorry, the, the, the pliers, sorry I'll guys. Translate. Just give me the pliers. Cool, okay, so there you can see it's been removed, and so easy, and the rest can be used. Okay, so just okay. an easy tip. So if you've made that mistake, so your showers, sometimes there's the sealant that is um, um, uh, not, uh, uh, that it doesn't look so well anymore. You can use it for that. Uh, we do have our red silicon sealant that's also being used more for your uh, fuel tank, petrol, diesel, where it's a little bit more of an aggressive fluid that is in contact with it. So, and also requirements, you'll see at the back of the bottle, it says temperature. So also important to be able to es establish what kind of temperature the the surface that you want to seal is actually going to reach. So that will also then determine whether you're going to use our black sealant or then our red, because the red can take a higher temperature. Mm. So now you have the sealant. Now a car comes in and you actually have to remove the gasket. And then the sealant that has now already gone into its rubber form um, is actually now on it. Now, workshop's favorite friend is then... Mr. Scraper. Mr. Scraper. <laughs> it takes, sometimes I've seen four hours because now it is the scrape and they're trying to get all the old sealant off um, to be able to now have it cleaned up and ready for the new sealant. So sometimes I wonder, Mel, because I think actually there's a competition running with a few guys uh, trying to see who can remove the most and have it the cleanest. But uh, uh, ultimately we have the best friend that we developed, uh, which is a solution provider, and that is our silicon sealant remover. Okay, so this product makes that whole four hour scraper mission so much easier. So the liquid moly silicon sealant have been designed specifically to, be, to make sure that that sealant is going to be removed without a headache, without having to take hours. So how it works is you, you spray it on the, on the um, a sealant that is on the gasket or whatever surface you want to remove. You leave it for a minimum of 10 minutes. You will actually see, okay, that happens often, sorry, you will actually <laughs> see how it re starts reacting. So, uh, Shelly, can I ask you to just to take yes. this whole thing off for us? So, I'm going to take in just the surface that I've placed it, and I want to spray it. And I'm just going to actually bring it closer so that you can see how it actually starts to boil. No, I'm boiling not like in hot water, but just see how it starts to work. Okay, so I've put some sealant here. And by applying it, you'll see it starts to create a couple of um, uh, bubbles. And um, that's how it's interacting with the sealant. And what it actually does is it actually removes the sealant off the surface. 
Then you can take after 10, 12, 13 minutes, you can just take um, a, a cloth and just scrub it off. It actually comes loose quite, quite easily. So the silicon sealant, the one thing about it, it is quite aggressive. So um, the smell as well, uh, you'll be able to establish that it's quite strong because you have to realize that it has to take sealant off a surface. Mm -hmm. So it is quite strong. So it is not a product that if the surface that you want to clean, the silicon or whatever you want to clean off has paint on it, that you make sure that you do not have it touch the paint because it is aggressive. It is going to take that paint off. So this is the product that you would use if you would write, want to write a note <laughs> on your car because it will take the paint off. But it's not a product that you will apply anywhere where you don't want it to damage the paint. Yeah, so actually one of the applications that give an idea is uh, components used in the mining industry and it comes with a corrosion wax protection. Um, on these components, and uh, the, there was video tests done with uh, different products that you guys tried. But uh, actually, one of the ones that stood out and actually was able to remove this wax coating was the sealant remover, as is used actually as a paint stripper to remove that component, and we can fit it and uh, make sure all the components are working as it should. Okay, so, 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 so you're touching on some, uh, some additional um, uh, uses. So, one is it's been designed to remove the sealant. That has uh, that you b before you're going to put on the new sealant, easy spray on, leave it for quite some time so you can go and do your work. Come, you can either just pull it off or you're going to see you're going to be able to scrub it off. But it's easy, simple, it's not going to take you hours with a scraper. Mm -hmm. Then there's a couple of other extra uses. So, Shelly, you've got that um, valve in there, yes. Um, so so quickly, uh, I'm sure a lot of uh, technicians have been able to see this. We know this as a carbonization or carbon buildup. This is just the intake valve. Now, uh, it becomes quite a problem if you have a product and it does not work as effectively as it should. And a lot of times the guys rather remove the components trying to clean it or polish it. Um, so we're actually going to show you how effective is the sealant remover. Um, just to give an idea of the different uses it actually has. So uh, Always make sure that you shake the can well. Shake nicely. If it has a goon, you have to shake it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave it like that and rotate it for you. Cool, so what we're going to do, we're just going to leave it like this, put it back in there, while the other one is also uh, still active. And uh, like Mel mentioned, that uh, you will need to le leave this for at least five to ten minutes. Hey, it pops off. You yeah, see all the, all the gases. Pressure, all yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to leave this a bit and cut, touch on a few other um, Use. uses we have for this product. But you're already, just by the spray, you can see that it's already removed some of the carbon, carbon. deposits that's been um, stuck on that valve. So you get problems with EGR valves, that the EGR valves have been so contaminated for such a long time that it's gone so hard that it's very difficult to get, um, to get off. So I've been in, in, in workshops that they've put it in Coca-Cola. <laughs> they have put it in acid. They try everything to get that carbon deposits of the, e of the EGR valve. And um, you apply the, the sealant remover. You see how it starts interacting. And every single time that you put a cloth, you see that it just starts coming loose. Mm. So a really, really strong, strong cleaner when it comes to those carbon deposits, wanting to clean the sealant. I've... Um, uh, when, when they uh, built um, uh, my pool on the tiles, they actually put the, uh, uh, dropped some cement parts. And um, I thought one of the most st the strongest products and that would also still be safe on the tiles to yes. use would be the sealant remover. Mm. And it worked like magic. It takes it off so quickly because it is quite a strong remover. So if you have those kind of stains or dirt that, has been, that, that you're really battling to get off, the recommendation is that you can use the sealant remover all we want to ask is just test it on a small little piece because it is very aggressive mm. to the surface that it touches. If you would spray it on a plastic, for an example, because remember, it takes off sealant. If you would spray it on a plastic, you would see that it will actually eat into the plastic. That's how strong it is. And the nice thing about this is, Mel, uh, a lot of times we, uh, we ask the question that um, if the sealant remover is only developed for the Licky Molly silicon sealant, um, which is not true. So this product has been developed for a big variety of different sealants with different formulations inside. And uh, that is a nice thing. So irrespective of what you're currently using, you can always be able to use a sealant remover as a value-added a value -added tool, uh, as a solution-driven tool in the workshop. Yeah, so one of the other things that I also think that a lot of people, I don't know if you've seen those cars with the windscreens that, or you might have one of those cars <laughs> that have all the license disc marks from 19 yes. to whatever. <laughs> you see all these circles in the window. And it's always difficult for you to take them off. So here's a great tip. Take a cloth, spray some of the sealant remover in it, and you'll be able to take the, um, uh, on the windscreen, actually take that glue mm. off the windscreen. 
um, without any problem. So it's similar to this one. <laughs> yeah, we have two places to actually show you. So one is going to be in the back of the scraper. There's a sticker that, I, that, that we tore off just before um, we started. And I could get one half bit off, and the other part is still sticking there. And then, then we have the scan, and it has the sticker on that I've tried to, I've already done the one half, but I tried to remove the sticker, and you can see it, it's not the easiest thing. It's going, coming loose in little bits and pieces, and it's really not easy. So, to be able to show you the magic of this product, That is uh, precision, huh? <laughs> Showing strong, we're going on a plan <laughs> that I on your <laughs> So uh, you leave it a little bit to just that it can activate, but I want to show you the difference it actually has. Um, just give me a second, just a second. <laughs> so while Mel's busy there, um, one of the important things to, to note that uh, because of um, so you know, in a formulation, there's something we don't use. Uh, there Shelly, we there it. we go. Yes. So can you see how this is actually taking off the sticker? And I can actually just now take a cloth and take every single bit away because it actually activates on the glue and it just removes it so easily okay. without any issue. So how many places do you know that has actually sticker glue left behind that you can just easily take off? Yeah, that's amazing. So let's try this subscriber. I'm going to get that sticker off. You can, I can feel how it just kind of, it's been dissolved in a way. Okay, and then you just add a little bit more so that you can get that last little bit that was maybe covered by another piece of it. And you can get it nice and clean. Okay, there's a little bit that I'll still have to do, but you can see most part of the sticker is off. Right, so the sealant remover is such an amazing product to make your life easier when it comes to sealant, um, to make your life so much easier when it comes to cleaning really, really heavy um, uh, stained items. Um, cleaning like you would see now, I mean, I can actually look at it. So what I'm going to do, Mel, I'm quickly going to come closer. I hope you're going to clean my finger. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so actually there you can see the sealant remover. It works and it's probably like uh, five, five to ten minutes now. Um, but this is a nice thing, you know, all, uh, carbon, uh, carbon molecules are quite difficult to remove. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove a little piece here for you to just practically see this. Cool. So there we can see the result. In a very Uncleaned short space of time. And cleaned. So there's no need to put uh, uh, your back into it and trying to <laughs> take three days to clean this. Um, so it's such an amazing product and so effective. That, that's a wonderful thing about this. All right, so um, our sealant remover that have a lot of extra uses, not just removing sealant, um, just a caution. It is aggressive and please, I know I've put it on, a, I had double-sided tape on a mirror and I wanted to wipe it off and I took all the paint off the corner <laughs> of the mirror. So watch out for those kind of things. And if you want something that's really tough to remove that, just test it on a small little surface that you would not see it will not be in, in, in the public eye. And then our sealants. I mean, our sealants, so easy to use, so many different applications. If you can think of your bath, your shower corners, if you think of the gasket, anywhere else that you want to seal, but you don't want to get your fingers as dirty as mine because you're using a product that comes in a toothpaste tube, oh. Um, it's such an easy application. Sorry, Thank no. you so I much. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's so simple and easy to use, and it also makes your life so much easier if you have a workshop. And there's so many additional uses for the um, sealant and the sealant remover that also a lot of people have actually demonstrated on our DIY group. So if you also want to see some more information, you can be able to go and see some of the other tips from our Liquid Molly fans out there on the DIY group. But other than that, Philo will also send, uh, just attach the link of both of these products. So if you wanted more information about the sealant or the sealant remover, Philo is going to just put those two links into the comments section underneath the, um, uh, the show, so you can go and find additional information. Cool. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, I think this is just a, a small bucket in the product solutions we have available, but uh, so effective products. So uh, like now I mentioned, if there's any information needed, please feel free to contact us or visit our app. We'll be able to get the data sheets and uh, see how to apply these products. Thank you for joining us for unpacking the sealant and sealant remover. We hope you all the best and all the best from Mally and Shelly.